Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad. And welcome back to another beautiful day on the Gubernation Gun Range. Today's video is going to be about my adventures deer hunting with the 243 Winchester round. There's a lot of opinions on which rounds are suitable for deer hunting, what's adequate, what's inadequate. And browsing around the old internets, I've found a lot of people claiming that 243 is right on the edge of marginal for deer hunting. So this past deer season, I exclusively used the 243 as my hunting round. To make sure I got the full experience of using this particular caliber, I made sure to try out a couple different types of bullets. The first bullet I'm going to show you is a 55 grain ballistic tip bullet, and this is extremely light for the size. In previous videos I've tested it going at over 4,000 feet per second so this round is screaming. It's marketed as a varmint round but I was really curious to see what it would do on deer sized game. This shot I'm lining up here is about a hundred yards away and it is about a hundred pound doe that I'm taking a shot at. This was a last second hunt so unfortunately all I had with me was my cell phone take video but hopefully you can see that the bullet performed great and dropped the doe right in her tracks. The shot landed a little farther back than I was hoping but it was plenty enough damage to drop that doe right in her tracks like I said. It's important out here we're right on the liver at the back end of the lungs but the damage was massive and there's pretty much just mush around that bullet wound. This next 243 bullet that I'm using is a Barnes Vortex, and it's an 80 grain all copper bullet. It is a nice clean looking round with a cute little blue ballistic tip on top. And these rounds should be a nice contrast to our 55 grain varmint ammo. These are designed for larger game like deer, whereas the 55 grainer is more for smaller predators and varmints. I'm going to take this shot at about 250 yards, so a good bit longer than our first shot. But this deer is about the same size as the last one, right at 100 pounds. This round also dropped the deer in its tracks, but the performance on target was much different. Whereas our first round exploded inside the deer and caused tons of damage. This punched all the way through a shoulder. We hit bone on this shot and did much less internal damage. Two shots, two deer down right in their tracks. I think the 243 proved to be a very adequate round for deer hunting this past season. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.